Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I am honored to be here for the second time, actually, with the Fish Mittens. Uh, yeah, I last interviewed them, uh, what, April of, uh, what was it, guys, 2021. 2021, uh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, <laughs> they're a indie punk band from the United Kingdom. Uh, and hey, guys, congratulations on your new four-track EP uh, titled Filthy, Filthy Gibberish. Uh, <laughs> is, is there like a, a theme to the EP, or, or is it just uh, random songs? They're random songs, to be honest, Lou. We just felt we needed to get something out. We're planning to put an album out next year, but we've been quiet. Well, this year we're planning to put the album out, but we've been quiet. And it also gave us an opportunity to use a couple of songs we might not have otherwise used. So it was, mm. yeah, it was a good opportunity for us. Right on, right on. Sounds good. Uh, the song that I've been playing from you guys, uh, what a effing liberty. Is there a <laughs> in that song? Is there sort of what, sorry, a little message? Yeah. If there's a message, yeah, never mess with the occult. It, it might not tell you what you want to hear, you see. Ah. I, I read stories about people actually doing this, contacting mediums to try and speak to relatives who have passed. And I just thought, wouldn't it be funny if that relative didn't want to talk to them? And so <laughs> <it's funny. laughs> Just, you know, but I think overall, never mess with the occult. I've seen The Exorcist. You never know what you're letting out the box. Okay. Yeah, but... yeah all right. <laughs> uh, well, hey, man, um, like I say, you guys have had some great success over the past couple of years. Give us some highlights. What's going on? Paul, do you want to do that, the first bit? All right, then. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Lou. You know, for a band like us, we, are, we don't play like every weekend or anything. We don't want to do that because it's always best to leave people wanting more. So I think over the last year, since we last, last spoke to you, we've tried to cultivate a little bit of a, uh, uh, a mindset whereby, you know, when we turn up, people come because they don't know. It's not going to be another three or four months before we come, right? We don't want to wear out the welcome. So in 2022, we started off about this time last year we played at a place we've never really been to before called the Carlisle on a coastal town um, called Hastings. We got there. We didn't know what to expect, but the gig was blinding, right? Great, great venue, great staff, great stage. And most importantly, the people from that town came out to see us, right? We had an absolute ball. Um, quickly followed then we played in uh, London at a, um, like an all day punk festival with a couple of sort of better known bands one was called Department S who uh, they had a few hit singles in the 80s very good bands and another band called Splodness, Splodness Abounds and they're a bit of a like a punk legend band in the UK so we got a, we got a chance to share the stage with some people who are really 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 good and, and known um, Another memorable gig was we played a great gig with this band called Derellas. Um, but unfortunately, the gig was on the same night as the Champions League final. So if you imagine the Super Bowl, right? Super Bowl was just a domestic championship, right? Imagine like that, that, that competition, but for the whole of every country in Europe. So we Ooh. managed to get a gig that night and everybody was not in. So like we played to a pretty much empty, um, empty place on that night but great gig um in june we played up in blackpool which is near me on the northwest we played this um two-day punk festival called punk's picnic um at the place called the waterloo bar this place is i think probably the best venue we've ever played like proper stage proper lights proper sounds and um a really really like receptive crowd so we really came off on stage there on a big high um then funnily enough on the very day that the Queen died, we had a we did a live gig at a radio show. Um, also in Kent, where these boys live, we were so excited about this, right? But the Queen's died, so like there must have been like two listeners across the entire show. So uh, we keep getting gigs on these nights where people have got other stuff to do. We've got to, really, we've got to consider our diaries a little bit more. Um, 
And then finally, I think a highlight for 2022 was uh, we returned to the same place that we played the first gig in January, the Carlisle in Hastings. And this time, even better, even better. Uh, packed house, everyone's singing, people know the name, people know the words to our songs, and we, you know, better than I do. So, um, <laughs> can't wait to get back to the Carlisle. We'll be back there in 2023, I imagine. I think around about springtime. Um, and uh, yeah, so you know, we do a gig like maybe what once every six weeks, but every time we do one is special because you know, we 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 keep the excitement in ourselves as well. Uh huh, yeah, right on, right on. So, a yeah. couple, sorry, though, a couple of other highlights that cost me and Paul were going to share this. This, um, oh, yeah. obviously, our album was well received, and we got tons and tons of airplay. And thanks to people like you playing our music all the time, and um. We got a fantastic review from an American uh, rock magazine that compared us to Madness Meets the Sex Pistols, which would do us perfectly, you know. And the, the girl who wrote it really understood our music. She really, she nailed it. Um, we did a live stream for uh, the studio where we recorded our album. That was the first time we actually played together after lockdown. So that was fun. And we did an interview afterwards and we had people sending messages in from Spain and Australia. So we didn't realise how um, wide our net had grown. So it was quite surprising. So that was a really good thing. I mean, there's loads and loads of, uh, Paul already touched on that, Dill Radio with the Queen's passing away. That was like a, a terrible day to do a live performance. But I think the highlight really for all of us is meeting people. We went on so many different gigs up north of England and we met so many new people and got so many new followers that, that our band is like our followers has virtually doubled in that year. And it's actually me, it's all like knowing them on social media, but actually meeting them in yeah. towns that we would never normally go to. That's probably my favorite thing, I think. But yeah, it was a great awesome. year. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And what's up for 2023 for the Fish Mittens? What's coming up? Mike. Oh, he's gone quiet. <laughs> you, mate. Tricky me. What's on the schedule? Very interesting. <laughs> You're on mute, Mike. <laughs> you, you, you're muted, Mike. <laughs> Anything right, what we got, we got coming up in 23. I'll, I'll, whilst yeah. Mike's fixing that, I'll let you know, right? Yeah. So, um, like I said, we're going to be back at the Carlisle in Hastings, I think, probably sometime in spring. Uh -huh. um, we've got a, uh, a penciled in date uh, for the summer, uh, a festival down south um, in July, I think, and that is uh, something related to Deal Radio, um, uh, which was the, the live show that we did on the Death of the Queen. Um, Apparently, that got some good feedback, so they've offered us a spot on their festival that they do every summer. And then what we're really excited for, apart from, you know, we're going to play other gigs as well, is the HRH Punk um, Festival in Sheffield. Up, it's in October, and that's with the likes of GBH, Ed Pole Tudor, Chelsea, The Boys, um, yeah. and lots of, like, uh, stiff little fingers, lots of real kind of well-known... Um, legit punk bands and we're we're lucky enough to be on that bill as well it's a huge venue as well yeah it's massive isn't it big venue yeah and yeah, yeah. Must be recording we've got songs in our set that we haven't recorded now like arthur and neighborhood watch that have gone down really well live and that we now need to record don't know what i touched there <laughs> hey there he is hey. Sorry, boys. Right. That point did a great job. <laughs> well, hey, guys. Very, very cool. Very cool. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to uh, see their the fish mitten, see their video of the song, uh, What a Effing Liberty. Uh, yeah, you can see that on our, on our, on our website at betterrocksradio.com. Mm -hmm. And also, if you'd like to add the song to the quiz, yeah, you can do that in the members area. So, yeah, hey, everybody, hey, thanks again for joining us. And rock on, dude. 
quickly mention we've got we're recording a new album that should be out this year as well. Right yeah. on. What's it called, man? What's the name of the album? Well, I, I want to call it the girl with the the girl with the orthopedic shoe. Uh, I'm not sure any others feel about that. I mean, <laughs> wait, definitely. <laughs> All right, Lou. Sure thank you so much, mate. Thank you. Hey, thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.